Hey guys, welcome back to Junior Breeder Quads from Andrew. Today we're going to talk about how to lime breed cherry shrimp, or blue shrimp, or yellow shrimp, all different types of New Caridina shrimp. So, with that, let's get into the video. And if you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys like a lot of videos that I have on this channel, I'd ask that you consider subscribing to this channel. So the first thing I want you guys to look at are these two tanks. The first one here is a very beautiful planted tank with a bunch of fish in it, CPDs, resboras, plecos, the works. The second tank is a tank that has a bunch of mulm and detritus. Uh, doesn't look very good. Is used as just a heater for my breeding of celestial codanios. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think breeds the best shrimp? First off, I'd like to hear what you guys have to think in the comments below. Do you guys think it's the first tank or the second tank? Just one or two would be greatly appreciated. So now you guys have done that. Actually, the second tank, the one that doesn't look very attractive or appealing or anything like that, is the best tank for me for breeding my shrimp. And this isn't really to be a video on how to keep cherry shrimp or blue shrimp and Caridia shrimp, but we sort of have to go into that a little bit in order to learn how to line breed your shrimp. So in order to line breed, you have to have enough shrimp to be able to begin with to actually start selecting what fish or what shrimp you want to work with. And with the first tank that I showed you guys with all my CPDs and my rasboras and whatnot, I was getting no babies. I have these massive females in here that are some of the largest shrimp I've ever seen and people comment on them all the time, but they aren't producing any babies. They're buried all the time, but they aren't producing any babies. And that's because all the fish in here are eating all the little tiny baby shrimp that come out. Any shrimp that can fit into a fish's mouth is going to be food. And for my CPDs, it's the little tiny baby ones, so I never see any baby ones. Whereas in the other tank, there are no fish. There are only plecos. And those plecos, I have not found any issues with them in terms of eating baby shrimp at all. And in there, the shrimp are just breeding like crazy. And so we're going to look at that second tank for how to line breed your cherry shrimp that you are keeping. Again, it can be kept with other guppies or other things like that. I've seen things online. But if you want to have the maximum amount of shrimp to work with and to breed, and then to be able to select the best traits, I'd recommend not having any fish that you think of, even like guppies or endlers or CPDs in that tank with them. So when it comes to line breeding your shrimp, you want to think from the get-go, what is your end goal with that group of shrimp that you're working with? Are you trying to make them a darker blue? Are you trying to make a really line? Are you trying to go back in coloration to a, a previous color pattern or previous color morph or are you just trying to stabilize the line and make it a better line color of whatever type of shrimp that you have and for me I fall into that latter portion where I'm trying to make the line that I have a much better blue line so when it comes to cherry shrimp they aren't always going to breed true to the colors that you see in your tank you're going to get these off colors whether it be partial blues, different greens, reds, things like that that you don't necessarily see in your tank, but in the genetics of the shrimp, you have that. In order to create a good line of shrimp, you need to be calling those undesirable colors out. Now, if you're just keeping shrimp as a part of your planted tank and don't care what happens or where it goes, so be it. Have fun with your shrimp, enjoy them, and just see where it takes you. But if you're actually interested in creating a really good line of shrimp or just having a good line of shrimp for you to be able to have in your tanks or to sell you have to call like there is no there's no way around it you can start with the best lines from the best type of breeders but you're still going to have to call the undesirable shrimps that start losing the coloration or start bringing in other color morphs that you don't want and when it comes to calling these shrimp to create a good bloodline for them you can do one of two you can do a lot of things with them you can sell them off to other hobbyists that don't care about breeding them they just want to have interesting colored shrimp in their tanks and the calls are definitely that they are a wide smattering of different colors and varieties of shrimp you could also do that to your own tanks you could take all the calls you have from your breeding tank and put them into your display tank and just let them live out their life that way especially if you are looking at line breeding them you have access to that genetic pool of previous shrimp in your own tanks that you can then come out, select what you want, and then maybe go put it back in with two females or take a female and put it with another male. So you have that ability to breed back in something that you may have accidentally selected out of the line. The third thing you could do with your calls is you could feed them to other uh, fish, 
be it cichlids or anything that will eat them. Some people are opposed to that. Some people do that. It's up to you. It's up to your discretion. In nature, these shrimp are getting consumed by those fish all the time. Um, so that is another way to get rid of them. Or you could just outright kill them, be it with chemicals or freezing to death. You have to look into what you think is the most humane way to kill them. Uh, but I personally don't kill them. I just let them live out their life in another tank and try to keep that line going and going and going. And the reason why that tank that looks so disgusting is the best to do the line breeding in is because you have so much freedom with not having to worry about uh, your best little shrimp that you're going to produce being eaten by a guppy or being eaten by a CPD or being eaten by anything else. And you can just grow them up, raise them up, and then select the traits that you want to stay within your line. So if you guys have any questions pertaining to line breeding, it does take a while to make a line very stable and producing the same colorations over and over and over again. And it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to happen over many generations, many months, many years. So if you want to head start on the best line that you can start with, you could look at buying it from other people that are very reputable um, dealers. The one that comes to mind is LRB Aquatics that's nearby me. And he has what looks to be very beautiful blue shrimp. I haven't purchased any, so I can't attest to what they actually are, but I've heard very good things from other people that have bought them from him. So I hope that helps you guys. And line breeding does, like the, the biggest, messiest part about line breeding and perfecting a coloration is that you're going to have to get rid of shrimp. You're going to have to get rid of them in one way, shape, or form. And that one way, shape, or form comes down to you, the individual person behind this camera that's watching me right now, to decide what you want to do. That's what it comes down to. So with that, I hope you guys have a blessed day. See you guys in the next one.